This is the RA2 Pro from Xtool. It works with almost all diode lasers and people say it's the best rotary module you can get for your laser. But is it? I have had this for a couple of months now and I have tried several projects on it. Today I'll give you a complete breakdown of the RA2 Pro and tell you what I found out. In the end I'll also compare it with some of the other popular choices you have when it comes to rotary modules. So hello guys, welcome to Melopine Lasers. Before we move on, the RA2 Pro was sent to us for testing by Xtool. However, I would also like to point out that this is not a paid review. First things first, what can the RA2 Pro do? Well, it comes with several attachments and has multiple configuration options that you can use to perform almost all of your rotary engraving uses. We have here four different setups which can work on almost all cylindrical and spherical workpieces. Let's look at them one by one. The one that most people use a lot is the rotary roller. You have these two rollers with a rubber surface. This can be used to engrave on bottles and anything that has a smooth cylindrical surface. If I was engraving something delicate, I'd use a roller setup. Clamps are a bit rough on delicate workpieces. One of the rollers can be moved to these three other positions A, B and C. Depending on the diameter of the workpiece, we have to determine which position we are going for. Level A is for workpieces with a diameter between 3mm and 50mm. For level B, the range is between 45mm and 60mm. For everything above 60mm, it's level C. Now, if you were to engrave on something really long like a baseball bat, you have this support thing which has a couple of rollers and you have a knob on it to adjust the height based on what you want to engrave. Pretty neat. That was the rotary roller. You can use it for anything that's cylindrical and uniform like glasses or bottles. By the way, I have a really good video about engraving wine bottles. Do check that out. Now, what about things that cannot be made to roll on these rollers? That's where the rotary chuck comes in. You can remove the rollers and attach the chuck. Switching these out is pretty simple. We use two M420 screws to place the chuck in place and use the belt and coupling to connect it to the motor. Before we move on, I'd like to quickly mention that we provide a free 7 day course called Getting Started with Lasers. We cover all the fundamentals to help you get started. I'll leave the link in the description. Do sign up, you won't be disappointed. If you sign up, we'll also send you cool tips and tricks about lasers every week. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. This is one well designed accessory and they give you multiple attachments that you can use with the chuck. The first one is the single step jaw which is for holding things with a flat round bottom and a diameter between 100mm and 1mm like coffee mugs. If the base of your workpiece isn't flat, using the single step jaw won't work well for you. That's where the double step jaw comes in. Workpieces such as balls, eggs etc can be engraved using this setup. You can use this for holding workpieces without a flat round bottom. They also give you this tailstock kind of thing with a rubber concave surface. What you do is you slide it onto the base and press it onto the workpiece till the spring loaded tailstock goes in and then you tighten the screw to hold the tailstock in place. The tailstock is super useful when you need to engrave on stuff like balls. Next you have what they call the studs. This is for engraving on really small balls or on rings. You can place your ring on this and widen it up till it's tight. I used my X tool to cut two concentric circles on wood to make some rings and then I used the rotary roller to engrave on them. So those are the major attachments you get with the RA2 Pro. Apart from these you also get a spirit level, some measuring tape, a couple of allen key drivers, connectors for connecting to different lasers and a well detailed manual. That was about what the RA2 Pro can do. Now here is my two cents about the product. I'll tell you what I didn't like first. There is no sort of tilt adjustment on this. So if you want to engrave on something like a glass with a sloped surface, you'll have to use something to raise one side of the entire module to make the engraving surface level. Now the next thing is strictly my opinion. Even though Xtool provides good build quality, one thing that I noticed is the issue with their screws and bolts. They tend to wear out easily. It's not a major issue, you can replace them easily, but the quality of the screws and threads do need some kind of improvement in my opinion. Or maybe it's a one-off case. 
Now, the things I like about it outweighs the things I didn't like. First is the design. It's a well thought design. You get the roller and chuck in one unit. So you don't need to purchase two separate units for your different engraving needs. The different attachment options is a big plus and they have included the cables to connect to different machines. The thing I really liked about the design is everything is configurable based on your needs. Let's say you are engraving a coffee mug, there is a good chance that the handle might hit the base. So what you can do is you can remove the base and attach it to the other side. This gives you a bit more clearance under the mug. Furthermore, the base on the other side also acts as a counterweight and prevents the RA2 Pro from tipping over. Next is the build quality. Apart from the screw thing, the build quality is quite great. It has enough weight to provide stable operation and all parts feel solid, especially the chuck. I've been using this for a while now and all parts seems to be stable. The rollers feel sturdy and has a rubber surface that provides good grip. The belt used on here is also of good quality, there has been no stretching with the belt till now. Which makes me wonder, what happens when it finally stretches? There is no belt tension adjustment here just like in all other rotary accessories out there. I'll probably have to replace the belt but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Coming to the setup part, switching between the modules will take you around 5 to 10 minutes. And the initial setup will take around 15 minutes, if you are a light burn user here are the values you need. My roller has a diameter of 16.8mm and the steps per mm value for the roller in my case is 32 and it's 128 for the chuck. Now let's see how it compares to other rotary accessories. Some of the popular ones are from Orcho, Atomstack and Comgrow. Out of these, the Atomstack and Comgrow offer only the roller so it would not be a fair comparison. Orcho has a rotary roller and a chuck but they are separate units. The roller costs around $80 and the chuck costs around $230. The chuck from Orcha has a feature that's not there in the RA2 and that's the tilt adjustment for engraving on glasses without a flat surface. If you ask me, my opinion is that the x RA2 Pro has a better build quality than the others. Looks wise, I like the Orcha but when it comes to versatility, the RA2 is more versatile. The support module is something that I haven't seen on any other rotary accessory which would help you engrave on long items. So should you get it? Well if you want to engrave on a variety of things like spherical objects, rings and bottles, the x RA2 Pro is a sweet deal for around $260. But if you are sure that you would only be engraving on work pieces with a flat surface like bottles or drinking glasses, you could get a rotary roller for under $100. But the thing about laser engraving is that you always want to try new things so it's good to have that capability when you want to do it rather than purchasing a whole new module. That's about it I guess. If you think I missed something please let me and others know in the comments below. If you think the video was good click that like button. If you didn't you could click the other one. Also subscribe to the channel to learn more about lasers. If you have any questions you can reach me at mail at mellopine.com and also visit mellowpine.com slash cnc for some cool content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.